Never been north before. Never seen snow before. Down south, the air smells like pig shit. You've never been down south. I've been to Winterfell. That's the north. I think there's always surprises for characters in this. You know, Jon Snow's heard of Jorah for his entire life, this notorious seller of slaves. And then, of course, the actual person turns up, and Jon can see he's a good man. Jon is all about honor, right? He has a, a sense of this incredible weapon he has. It's been in your family for centuries. It's not right for me to have it. I think Jon and Jorah make a connection which uh, evolves during this journey. And there's a shared history, which was a love of my father. I forfeited the right to claim this sword. Everything that Jorah does is about seeking forgiveness. It's yours. There's a sense of closure for him in saying, no, he gave it to you and I don't deserve this. The Hound for Tormund, he, he's a huge guy, he's mean, he, he's crazy, and you know, Tormund loves mean, crazy guys. Well, I mean, the Hound doesn't really talk much and that's going to be a gruff conversation. The Hound is a very difficult guy to be friends with. You're the one they call the dog. Fuck off. Not the talkative guy. The Tormund is, I want to make babies with the great big monsters. They conquered the world. How did a mad fucker like you live this long? I think the running theme, it seems quite apparent with Gendry, is, you know, lack of family. That's the thing that he's sort of searching for. He's kind of looking for surrogates. I wanted to be one of you. I wanted to join the Brotherhood, but you sold me off. The sense of betrayal, I feel, you know, certainly hasn't left Gendry. Do you know what she did to me? She strapped me down on the bed. She stripped me naked. Sounds all right so far. I think it was quite embarrassing to see him again. <laughs> we weren't anticipating ever seeing him again. But, you know, he went off with Melisandre. It wasn't all that bad. Good lad. So chuffed to, to be part of this ragtag bunch that gets to come out to flipping Iceland. When that Paul Cullis comes up and out we go, a Magnificent Seven or a Dirty Dozen or the... Though it doesn't, minus five. You know it's going to kick off. <laughs> <laughs>